Today, we're in Shawnee, Oklahoma. More specifically, we're at the Pottawatomi Nation bird aviary, where they've got some eagles, hawks, even hummingbirds. So we're going to film a variety of wings, big and small, in super slow-mo. The downside is it's raining and it's quite dark, so we're going to have to wait for some holes in these clouds, but hopefully we'll get some lovely looking footage. Why don't we go and meet the people? Quickly, it's what? raining. It's raining, yeah. <laughs> Jennifer, Bree, how's it going? Hey. So uh, what is it you guys do here? What are you responsible for? Well, we are humbled to be able to care for these wonderful eagles here. All these eagles you meet here have been injured in some way. So we need to take care of them now. They can't take care of themselves out in the wild. That's really good. Mm -hmm. What other kind of birds do you have here? We have falcons and hawks, and um, then we have a golden eagle also. So I've been told you've also got hummingbirds as well, not just birds of prey. They part of this or are they? They are just wild hummingbirds, but we're lucky enough to have them come visit here. We have planted specific plants for pollinators, monarchs, hummingbirds, so I think that helps too. We've also stopped spraying, so we don't use any pesticides or any chemicals down here that would be harmful, so there's an ample supply of things they need. Oh, sweet. <laughs> All right, well, I think we should wait for it to stop raining, and then we'll go and film some birds. So who's, uh, who's this guy? His name is Nikon. This is actually what we call an auger buzzard. So he's a relative of our red-tailed hawks. Kind of like their cousin. Cool he's going to do what we call rousing. You see oh. all his feathers puffing out. Uh, and all birds do this. It means he's uh, very happy right now, so he must like you too. Why have you, you never roused for me? Sorry, I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to start with a shot where he's coming right at the camera, because then we'll see him you know, like breaking and putting his feet forward. Let's try that. Let's yeah, try it. let's try that. That's pretty good. Look at that. Wow. It all just looks so easy and quick in real time, but then when you see it in slow motion, it's actually like... <laughs> it's an absolute operation. Yeah, there's so much to it. He sticks his feet out first, puts the brakes on, <laughs> lands. That's amazing. We'll try that a couple of times. Are you ready? Ready. That was cool. We good? Yeah, that was great. Wow. That's a leap as well. Yeah, that's a jump, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Look how the f they spread out like fingers. looking right where he's going to put his feet. That was amazing. All right, Bree, who's this fella? This is Miana Bay. This is our golden eagle. And usually we put him out on a perch. He'll give us a good rouse. So if you guys want to try that out. Yeah, I'll get sure. a, a slow-mo rouse. He seems really tame. He's been with us since he was about a year old. So he's really he's really accustomed to people. Go on. Look at his feathers. I got it. Huh. He actually shed quite a lot of small bits. It looks like he's in a fan. It doesn't even look like he's doing it to himself. It just <laughs> looks like it's really windy. Wow. Pretty impressive dexterity over all those different feathers. He looks so fluid. Yeah. That's cool. How close can we get to him? Like, would I be able to get a close-up of his face oh, when yeah, he blinks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Watch your feet. OK, let's zoom right in on him here. Yeah. I think that was a blink. Yeah. Ugh. Let's have a look at that. Oh, oh. that's weird. Do you want to see this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. OK, ready?
That is crazy. Oh my gosh. He actually pauses. He's like, he's closed. Oh, and it's open again. What? He looks like a dinosaur. That's just one at a time. Oh, it's so oh. weird. Oh my god. And that's, isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's mental. And they don't even close and open at the same time. You, you can, can actually, like, because like, of the angle of the eye, you can see it like a curtain. Yeah, it around. comes around. <laughs> it's so crazy. I could film this all day. So that's his inner eye lid. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so when they're hunting and flying, they you know they can just it just keeps their eye moist. And it's thin enough for them they to can see, see through. through it. Mm -hmm. Right. So this seems to be a pretty active bush for hummingbirds. So we've set up the 2511 at 28,500 frames a second, and I've attached a really long trigger cable. So we'll get out of the way, and hopefully, when we leave, they'll come back and eat. And action, hummingbirds. Got down on the binoculars. <laughs> no! Look, there's one there, look. Oh. All right, go on, son. Go on, son. Get in there. Go on, son. Yeah, you can trigger it now, anytime. All right, take five, hummingbirds. Wow. <laughs> Even though it's out of focus, the very tip of the wing is in focus. Because the focus is so fine on this, wasn't it? It's just so shallow. Gone for the landing. He did that without moving his head an inch. Uh, it's weird how they move their tails like that to stabilize, isn't it? Yeah. He's causing little gusts of wind on his back feathers. It's insane. They're just moving their wings around so quick. It's almost like he's steering his shoulders and the head and body are just like, they just follow along. Yeah. We got him feeding there in midair. Didn't bother landing. Oh, that's cool. All right, two phantoms at once, shall we? So this one's much higher resolution, but not nearly as fast. Doesn't take him long to come back, does it? No, they, they quickly see that you're gone and start um, trying to feed again. Checking them all out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, I triggered. Not, Not sure we'll get there. Oh, oh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. He just is not happy about it. Dive bombs him. Let him feed. He's not having it. He's looking at the other one, thinking, am I allowed to feed? The other one was like, better not feed. Well, I saw it in real time, and it just looked like playing or something. But it, in this, it looks so violent. It's, they're very territorial. And that beak is a weapon. It's like a little sword. Yeah. He's going for He's it. Like, oh, it's all right. It's safe. It's safe. Oh, oh you, you can see, see it. it gulping. So, so that must be his tongue. You see that? It's like properly gulping it down. That was wicked. Fun to film, fun to watch. Yeah. I don't think there's any better subject in slow-mo than animals and nature. It's very cool. E even, the, even the eagle blinking was so alien looking, like those white curtains coming from the, the under eyelids sweeping over. So cool that you can, they can see through that when they're flying. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, there's it a real, yeah. I'm blown away, honestly. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to subscribe to the Slow-Mo Guys and click over here for more episodes of Planet Slow-Mo. We'll just wait here while you make a decision. All right? Yeah, I'm just getting bitten by all these bugs. Oh, that's all right, don't worry about it.